Dylan Howard told Channel 5's royal documentary Meghan and Harry. The new revelations that the Duke of Sussex was aware that it was very unlikely he would ever sit on the throne. The royal author added that as a result, Prince Harry was able to live his life without being shackled by the same responsibility as Prince William. Mr. Howard said, I think the difference between William and Harry has a lot to do with succession in the royal family. William knows that one day he will become king. Harry knew that the reality of that was that it was very unlikely he would sit on the throne. So in many ways, he has lived a life feel of those shackles. He was the rogue and renegade prince and there was nothing wrong with that in Harry's eyes. Seemingly there was nothing wrong with that in the House of Windsor's eyes either because it made him more relatable, it also modernized the monarchy. However, the Duke of Sussex fell into the trap of being a spare member of the royal family according to Robert Lacey. He told the royally obsessed that Prince Harry and the Duke of Cambridge started life as co-stars but as the brothers got older their paths diverged and the Duke of Sussex began to resent his role as spare in the monarchy. The royal historian said, Harry fell into the same trap as the spares before him. There is in Britain the tradition of the heir and the spare. To start with in life they are co-stars, both of them idolized by the nation and the world. As early as I say in their childhoods, they became aware of it. Mr. Lacey added, Prince William derived a lot of strength from the idea that he would be king, and have great responsibility. That kept him going, while Harry went the other way from around the age of four. Once Harry was misbehaving in the back of a car and his nanny told him to shape up. Harry responded by saying he didn't need to shape up because he would not be king. By their teens, Harry is coming to resent this typecasting. 